Welcome. Welcome back to my channel. What we get ready to make today is a wig hat. See the baseball wig hat back there? But today we're going to make a turban church wig hat. Right? So it's a black wig hat. We're going to turn it inside out. And make sure we line it right on up. Make sure the front come down. I'm gonna cut off the tag. This is the hair we'll be using. What it look like. I also have my glue gun. And here it comes inside of a net. Um, I started to use the dreads, but I think they would have been a little bit too heavy. I made one before for, for the lady. Actually, she's my mother-in-law. I made her one for her birthday. I made it gray. It came out really cute. She got so many compliments on it. Uh, she wanted a black one. But I wanted to use the, the hair because it just... Feels better. This feels better. I'm gonna have to bring this up some because it's low. So I'm standing up. I need to be up here where I'm at. I need to open this up just a little. Make sure I'm right at right. I'm gonna bring it as close as possible. Alright, so basically I'm just gonna be gluing. like I did before. Um, so that I'm not constantly gluing and I'm do one glue. Basically I wanted to come from here to here. See, I'm, I'm a measure. See, I took the dummy head off. Measure right there. All right. So now what I did was marked where I want it to be. I have this mannequin already section measured out where my ears would be. So there's a line here. So I'm going to bring the hair just a little bit before the line. I used the line in the front of the um, canvas to give it that, like my nose point. So I just take it here and I'm going to measure it here all the way around. I make sure it's on now. All right. And then I'm going to cut it. Once I cut it, now I'm going to cut more strips the same size. And I'm just going to keep cutting until I get stacked. Now I done cut them. And I got five strips. One, two, three, four, five, six. I cut six strips. Because this way, now it looks full once I put it on. So then, I'm not going to go on piece by piece. What I do is I glue these together now. I then glued the first two together. I'm getting ready to turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. Because I had to come down and sit down a little bit. Because when you be gluing these things, you know what I mean? So I'm coming down low like this. So you can see. Do a little bit at a time. 
As you see, I'm laying right underneath the track. You don't want it to get bulky. What I mean by underneath the track is that you have the line here. So as I lay your hair down, I'm laying it right underneath the track. So the first two I glued together. And the, every one after that will be underneath the line. This makes it an easy fix when you get ready to attach the hair to the cat. Because then I will only be attaching one strip instead of going and attaching seven or six strips. Let's see how full it's starting to look. I'm going to put one more on. One more. And don't worry, I know you're looking, you're saying, look all that black glue. That's not going to be seen. Why? This is the part that's going to lay on the cat. Once this dry completely, I'll add more glue and I'll just come around and put it on the cat. And the reason why you lay it, that's why I say you lay it um, underneath each um, weft. Couldn't get the word out, honey. Don't even worry about it. Tired. Just got off work. Been working since 4.30 this morning, so I'm tired. But I wanted to come because I need to start putting these together. Like, I have so many hats and things that's already together. Um, I have not sold them. Because I really don't be pushing the issue to sell them. So I make them because I like making them. Um, but my next thing now is to donate them to like a cancer center. So now I'm just going to make some um, and donate them. All right. You see what I'm doing? What I'm doing is pushing. I want it to be dry. Squeezing all the glue and everything together. Right, so now I make one with. All right, so we have that. Let me move this out the way. Let me bring my mannequin down low. It's always easier for me to, when I do this, put the mannequin down with me than me standing up because I'm able to grab it better. So basically, I have it turned inside out and I'm putting glue on the with, and I'm just going to come straight around. Boom, there it is. And it's just going to be on. All right? So let's get busy. First, you want to make sure that it's even. So I bend it in half like this. This is the back. So I want to make sure that I'm on the back first. 
Okay. Make sure, let me do that again. Okay, go to the back. Make sure it's even. I want to glue this middle part first. So I put my hand right where I want to glue first. Because I want that to come straight around the middle. And can you, yeah, you can see me. Just make sure you can see me. And you see how I lay all that glue right there? Now, again, that's going to secure the wefts some more. So I put that there. And basically, I'm coming right here across the back. And I'm just going to hold that there. As I get another glue stick, basically I use, this would be my third glue stick. The second one is still not done, but when you be pushing, sometimes you have to put an extra stick behind just so it can, you know, go down. So as I come around, and I want to come, I'm not going to come all the way on, on the tip because, you know, sometimes when you put these on, the ladies like to pull. So I want to make sure I'm coming right above it. Or in between it somehow. See, it's going to bring me right there. And see, she has a small head. So this is a 23-inch canvas, so which is good. Yep, so I'll have that come right around like that. I want it to come down. I don't want it to come up. I'll make sure. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so let's go ahead and let's glue this part. My glue ran out. It's all right. So you want to make sure you turn it, get it right where you need it to be. And come right around. Hold it right there. That's why I do part at a time. Uh, at a time, and this is why I do it this way. So I gotta push this glue stick down, so it can cause the other part of the glue coming out. Sorry, but it got it is what it is. This is short glue stick. Yeah, and that's why I do part by part. I don't do it all at one time. So this way you can focus. See, because when I'm standing up, you can't get the pressure. I want the pressure on there because I want it to be flat. I don't want it to dry hard. Just hold pressure down. And it's doing it one side after the other. It's taking your time. And then I'm gonna come over to the other side. And same thing. Here we go with the glue. We're gonna make sure that the head is down. See, now that I have it sitting like this, I don't have to use my mouth to push it down, but the other side, I needed it. Because it is what it is. I'm just going to come right around. Again, you want to pull the hat down. And make sure now, as you see that I did that and it's not even you see I need more hair on this side just a little so I do have more here left. That's why you do a little bit at a time. And I'm going to measure it out. Actually, when I look at it, it was enough here and it was measured out correctly. However, when I came around the front, 
I, I went above my line where I was supposed to stop and that's what made me short right here. So I just need to clean up right here. Clean up an aisle nine. But basically I need like this much more. And basically just measure it out right just like that and do these the same way actually the way I layer them it looks like I'm making uh clips clip-ons so you just layer layer them the same way All right let me take this back off and see, because this is the line where I was supposed to have stopped at. That's okay. Now I'm just going to come right there, just like that. And I'm going to overlap it so that You don't want to push too hard in the beginning because you don't want the glue to seep through. You want it to adhere and take for a second. Okay. And there we have it. Now see on this one I press too hard because it kind of like you can see it right there. So I'm gonna work it out. Don't worry, we're gonna work it out. Right. We're gonna work it out. Okay. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some stones, some rhinestones or something right there. Let me go see what I got. <laughs> 